Did I remember everything? I hope so. <clears throat> what was I doing? I was doing this. Yay. Hello, driver. Hello, hello. Bright and early. I'm excited, actually. It's been a while since we've actually played Crab Neater. I'm very professional because I'm still in my PJs. Usually I like to get dressed for streams, but not today. Not today. We're not wearing pants. I mean, we are wearing pants, but... Uh, not enough pants. Actually, probably enough pants. Do 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 do. There we go. Do 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 do. And good. Here we are. Hey, first up, Jed. Hello, FC Salem. How's it going? It's going all right. Um, I tried to get up super early to do stuff, uh, before. The stream started and I failed miserably, so not a, not much stuff was done, but it's okay. We'll carry on regardless. Uh, before we jump back into uh, the uh, campaign proper, there's just some housekeeping I want to do. Firstly, we've got to make sure this option is checked. It's embarrassing if we don't do that. And let's see, Kramadagu. Wait a minute, I never saved over this. Get the hell out of here. Save this thing as the Kramadagus. Let's see here. Keep full, keep full. You are an aircraft. That's the one. New and improved Kramadagus. And let's see. Have you. Yep, 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 yep. Save over Kramadagus. Goodbye, old Kramadagus. No one shall miss you. Some people might miss you, actually. Um, I never got around to tweaking this thing's turrets and making sure it was capable of water start, but oh well, oh well, we'll just have to work with it. Okay, and lastly, I do want to show off the Titan Gram. Hey, thank you, Robot Tabor. Hey, <laughs> driver's in bed, yay. Oh, the <laughs> switchy staircase. Oh, that's precious. Okay, so, uh... The Titan Cram is basically the Titan Slung, uh, but it's just all the stuff has been swapped out for crams, and it is considerably cheaper as a direct result. It's like 300,000 materials less, so it's all got these little airburst uh, frag crams, it's got these uh, uh, quad crams here, and big, big nasty hollow points. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we, hopefully we're gonna build... Um, we're certainly going to build uh, the uh, Kramata Goose, and hopefully the Titan Cram is also going to make an appearance, which is really good. Hey, thank you, Robot Tamer, for gifting subs. Jolly, jolly good. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's go actually hop into the campaign. Let's do campaign stuff. Uh, load campaign. Uh, let's do this. And we should be back uh, where we were before. Uh, pull all. Where are we? We're all the way over here. Uh, we've got stuff there. Let's just do the retrofitting. Make sure that everything is up to snuff. How is the stream looking? Right, so there's been... Ah, yes! I did fix the packing duck. So hopefully that's all good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. How's the stream looking? Stream's looking good. I had a giant cup of coffee before this, so... Hopefully we're all good in the neighborhood. Alright, so, just to recap... Oh, whoops. Uh, just to recap, we're in trouble. We are at war with the Onyx Watch uh, and the Twin Guard at the same time, uh, which is less than ideal because I accidentally, like, sat on a resource zone last time over here. This is not intentional. Didn't want to do this. Hate to do it to you. 
So let us go find a place where we have a lot of money spare. Let's go here, actually, because the great thing about the Kramata Goose is that she's really fast. So it doesn't matter. We can uh, we can build her anywhere. Uh, Kramata Goose, go here. Yes, you are. And you're going to be built down there. That's a hundred and twenty thing. So, what do we have here? We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, I don't trust, uh, I don't trust the Lightning Hoods. The Lightning Hoods are going to be a serious issue for us. I mean, they always are, but, uh, you yeah. Cram, me, start seven. Continue, whoops. Continued. Oops. There we go. What's chat saying? Yeah, how's it going? Like I said, I'm doing fun. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Catmang. We need fast, speedy, quick crambo. Yeah, we need... Well, that's the problem, really, is, like, with the lightning hoods, is that, um... Trying to match their speed means that you make yourself more vulnerable to lasers, because, uh... Because, um... Hmm... Wait, I never put... I think the Kramata Goose doesn't have smoke on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, it's not a huge deal. And you know what? I'm going to preemptively put uh, the Titan Cram over here. Because I think we badly need that. Okay, how many. We got a Water Hydra over here. That'll do slightly better than other things. And where am I? I'm here. Let's load a vehicle. Let's, we can really can't afford that, but uh, if we start building it early enough, hopefully it'll be okay. This is actually going to be the first appearance of any version of the Titan Slung uh, in the uh, in the campaign, which is interesting. All right, so uh, let us new. We need to pick a fight with the Conestoga and uh, these guys. Alrighty, so we're here. What is that? That is the Harlek. Wait, the Harlack, I think, has lambs on it. Or not, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember which is fast. Okay, the duck is faster. There we go. Whee! Okay. Where are we? We're here. I'm never pointing in the direction I think I am. Ready? So here we have stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go, let's go, in the neighborhood, uh, wait, there we go. So the duck, uh oh, ouch. Yeah, lamb system, don't like that. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh. Oh, actually, we're kind of doing okay because the lambs has trouble shooting through water. Okay. We are going to need bigger, meaner stuff soon. Oh, lordy. I need to 
make the crown tiger at some point. What's happened to you? <laughs> this is good. This is a good start. <laughs> oh boy. Thankfully, these things are really cheap to repair. You'll note that the uh, that the duck is handling rough seas much better than it used to. <laughs> There's the, the the soothing soft sound. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Cramcat, <laughs> you're a little close. You are a little close. <laughs> you're gonna get shot in the engines, mate. And the co what the hell's happening with the Conestoga over there? Oh yeah, it's not floundering in the water anymore. What is happening? See, I wonder if you're gonna get shot at. Oh, we. Yay, we're winning! <laughs> kind of. E, have you considered using melee range cram? Uh, I have, but also that's just not gonna work. I've n I have never had good luck with melee craft, and I don't really think they're that good. There's just too many things they're not good against. I really need to build bigger, meaner stuff. I need to build that goose. I need to build... All kind of stuff. Whee! Damn these waves! Oh, you're gonna collide, aren't you? You're gonna collide. Oh, the people are gonna be so thrilled. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is awkward. Well, I guess the, the Cram Cat is kind of meant to be a kind of a cheap suicidal thing. Although she is handling this beating quite well. Are you sinking yet? Nope. Jeez. Yay. Well, no, that's uh, not kind of how it works, uh, Dr. Cruiser, is that uh, waves will mess with you I'm, like, th this is actually a good thing for, well, firstly, it just pitch and roll control, and secondly, um, secondly, having superstruct, something that peaks above the waves, because uh, the, part of the problem with having low-slung ships like this is because cameras can't see through water, so the waves block their view, which is a bit of a problem. Let's see how we're doing for resources. We are kind of running a little low. Uh, yep. <laughs> yes. Yay! We're winning! We've won. Pretty much. The Conestoga is probably a million miles away now. It appears to be stuck. Let's see. We Yep, it's stuck. Well, so much for you being an all-terrain vehicle. Oh my god, guys, if you collide. If you collide. Okay, thank goodness. Wow, I kind of forgot just how much faster the goose is than the duck. <laughs> Yay! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We could capture this thing, but, uh... Alright, let's go check on the cat. Are you still... somewhat amphibious? Actually, I'm gonna turn you off, just so you don't commit harakiri on the land. 
you only have one good turret anyway. This thing actually survived pretty damn well, considering it was getting shot point blank uh, with, uh, with cram shells, like, at very close range. Oh, no. Let's save some materials. Oh, no, you dumbass. Oh, hey, you're shooting yourself. That's very nice. So you know what? I actually am going to activate you. Because hopefully, the rubber that's still on you is enough. Get nice and close. Yay, okay, good. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, you get out of here. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of a bust. Let's see, what are my battle end options? I don't actually have a good way. I don't wanna go. I don't want to go walking in here. Wow, we literally can't even see it because it's hiding behind a hill. Okay, so battle end. That'll do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Retreat! Retreat to home base. Alright, so we want a front, a united front. Full all, yes, move. Gonna need you to make like a cow and move. Slap some wheels on. Quick small mortar there. Ugh. Mortars are one of those things that's like... <sighs> the problem with mortars is that... Ugh. They still need to see the target, so if the damn thing's hiding behind a hill, it doesn't work very well. I actually have made... Actually, hold on. Yeah, I actually have made, um... Where was it? It was like, I, I have made a mortar cruiser. But, yeah, it's just like... It just wasn't very good. Just rely... Just mortars aren't very good. That's a little bit of an oversimplification, but yeah, I've there are very few times in the campaign uh, I've found where mortars would actually help. Um, but yeah, maybe just a small mortar would be a good idea. I will experiment. If nothing else, so I can have manual control of the damn thing. Alright, so there's a redoubt. And... Actually, I'm gonna send... Who am I going to send? Who's slow? Do I have a cram cat in there? I do not. Okay. And wheels. I should make an amphibious tank. Alright. Did that do anything? Okay. Alright, do 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 Rook, Kamastoga, Kamastoga, lots of stuff. 3 4. Where's 3 4? Oh, it's over there. Okay, let's just save the game again because that's a good idea. Like, actually, I'm gonna put that on the to do list because the to do list is getting longer. And Fibios tank. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Maybe we should just make everything an amphibious tank. If it's not flying. Alright, so... What's a readout? Alrighty. Duck goes here. Flying Hydra goes here. You go here. And let us go. It's never in the direction I expect. And. Whoops. Aha! You missed. Oh yeah, I remember this now. This is a problem. Oh no, this thing isn't too bad. Doesn't have a stupid lamb system on it. Ow, it shot me. I hate that. Also, I really hate how broadside settings tries to move parallel to the target instead of, you know, broadsiding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, cram bombs, I hate that. I mean, I guess if, uh... Trying to hover straight above something when it can aim almost straight up is probably not your best move, mate. Yay! Party mix cram for the win! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, right in the belly. Right in the belly. Right in the belly, 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 belly. Oh, look at the Hydra, it's just flying along. Woof! Okay, yeah, this deck design of, uh, metal than wood, like, that actually is working really well, because that's holding up better than I thought it would. I saw AI components! EMP cram goes brrrr! What's chat saying? What's chat saying? Chat's, chat's being quiet. Chat's enjoying the ride. As am I, because it's a fun ride. It would be nice if my friggin' airship stopped missing. Whee! Kablooey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> nice to know you're still there. Yay! Okay, let's uh, get back there. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Parapet and cauldron. Panic at the disco is coming to kill us, but that's okay. Let's start making moves. Alright, so let's go over here. We got a cram cat. Let's move over there. Move our spy blimp up. Let's see, actually, Listening. you go Moving there. Out. You go there. Let's see, how's our duck, how's our goose doing? Goose is doing, he's soldiering along just a little bit. I need a bit of BBB. Listening. I'm going to give you a present or two. And how's the T Stolly doing? Well, T Cram. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, let's go over here and let's just give you 
100 carry commodities so you can just carry on a bit. What else can we do? We can do this. Moving up. Moving I seem to recall this thing um, actually uh, ran into the rocks uh, last time. Hey, good morning, Mechistopheles. And Arzaka. Thank you, Is Clash. E, good morning, good evening, time zones. Time zones are fun. Okay, let's go here. Whee, we're over there now. And begin, and you, my friend. Oh, am I missing something? Oh, oh, this furnace is dead. Huh, okay, that's, um, uh, hmm. Hmm, this was even easier than I thought it would be. Hmm, the funny thing about not existing, it makes it very hard to win anything. Well, I guess I'll capture this tile, just like so. There's the bonus stone. Actually, let's do Moving some, uh... Moving out. Moving out. Let's do some fun... piracy. Alright, so you, my friend, you can fly. But... Let's see, are you out of the air enough? Don't aim through the mountain, stupid. Okay, so I'm going to micromanage you a little bit. You go over there. Engaging now. And see now, ugh, land is very bright. Moving out. Moving out. This is why it's always a good idea to have fast things around, just for a little bit of commerce raiding. A little bit of friendly commerce raiding. And by friendly, I mean, uh, this is probably a war crime. Although the thing is armed, so... I guess not that much of a war crime. It's a little war crime. Just a small one. No good but not. <laughs> yeah, but it's a climatic. Yeah, that was. That was quite anticlimactic. Alright, Hydra. She's pinned down. Finish her off. I have got to get Doom Crams in the game. Because, ye gods, this always takes too long. We hope no one's gonna get sick from this. Technically not a war cry, yeah. Whoa, and now you start moving? What the heck? Why are you running away? Stab it. Actually, having an elevated position for cram cans actually kind of works well. I guess having an elevated position for anything works well. Do I need to get closer to mess with your steves? Wee! Isn't micromanaging an airship fun? And turn off. We are now in a better firing position. Wee! Oh, 
Wow, the interceptors actually got it. Damn. Yay! Alright. You turn off for a second. Where is our other friend? Controls are moving out. We... Actually, moving let's out. err on the side of caution and keep you well away from the land. Going on a trip in my favor. Oh, no. Moving out. You are stuck on land. How did you get up here? Wow. Moving out. Moving out. Right then, I must have gotten greedy. Okay. It should have been over. No, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so ironically the best way to survive a war zone is to uh is to not have a gun. Because that way people aren't allowed to shoot you. That makes sense. And that's because everybody follows the rules in war. Everybody, without exception. Especially... Okay, yeah, no. Let's not go there. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty. I do like this thing. It's like... Wow, you got hit in the face once too many times, and that's no good. Alright, so... If you go there... Do the guns have sight on it? We've got to be careful. Moving out. We've got to be careful approaching this mountain because uh, the PID is sometimes slightly stupid. In that, uh, no, don't, don't do for no, 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 Oh, 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 whoa, 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 rough landing, rough landing. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, we're in position. Better rip. I need to put rubber on me turrets, apparently. Yes, this is awkward. This is very awkward, actually. I need a jet fighter. I've actually built one. It's not finished yet. Whack! <laughs> it is quite funny, actually. We just straight up... The thing is like, ground? What ground? I don't understand. Ground? Oh, now you're... You're about to do it again, aren't you? Nope, 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 gonna need you to... Ah, for crying out loud. I really need to put turning props on this. Okay, I just gotta maneuver around a little bit. This does look kind of cool, though. Apart from the shenanigans. And now we're too close again. We. <laughs> oh dear. Yay, we did it. And pull all. Alright, so that was messy and irritating. But it's okay. We did it. 
right? And Cram Cat, you get to go over there and play with this thing, which has full health. Now what's happening over here, right? Let's go over there. What's that? That's a parapet. Uh, the parapet. Ooh. Hydra, gonna. I think we're gonna need you there. I think the parapet might be a bit strong. Moving now. Moving now. Listening. 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 All right. Let's save the game because that's a good idea. It's a very good idea to save the game. You gotta save sometime. Where am I? Here I am. Here I am, Mom. <laughs> Can I go to the candy store now? Let's go there and add you to as well. I think the parapet is a kind of a pain in the tushy. So let's go there. Actually, let's go there instead. Get everybody involved. Thankfully, not to jinx myself, uh, thankfully we have not run into an eerie yet. Because that would be bad. That would be the worst. The absolute worst. If we ran into an eerie right now. Alright, so just to summarize the parapet. Oh, no, never mind. The parapet is this thing? Not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. You're aiming for me, airship, you dingus. You dingus. You silly fella. This thing is very dense, but uh-oh. Uh, what are these shells again? They are pure HE. Alright, not the worst. Not the best, either. Oh, Deacon's Hell, that actually hurts a lot. What is happening? You know what, I'm just gonna... Whee! <laughs> yep, now you're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so uh, this thing is... Uh... This thing is actually like a coffin nail, except slightly worse, because it's, uh, less of a glass cannon, although it is doing flips, man. It's doing flips, flips, flips. Mm. Uh, it's a light, short, sharp shower of, uh, of HE shells. Yay, thank goodness. Scuttle settings, man. Thank goodness. Okay, everybody. Right, you are too low. Alright. So much for that. Alright. Yay, Kablooey! Oh wow, it's out, it's out of the water again! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> this is so silly. Oh dear. We're having fun. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. I don't remember how that song goes, actually. I need to make the the Krampus actually. The um, 2022 Krampus. It's a tradition.
Yeah, 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 I'm dead. We hello, Loom. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We are currently winning. We're not winning, perhaps as easily. Actually, shut up, border wise. You're winning quite handily. Alrighty. All, all. Let's go. Let's go check on you. Let's see what your damage is. All right. So um. Oh my god. This thing was almost AI deaded. So that's not good. It might be time to send uh, send the ducks. Uh, send the ducks further south and um, perhaps stop overestimating them. Because uh, that was close. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Pull all. And you. That is a cold run. We're ready so There's gonna be a big fight over there, so Okay. Big fight happening over there. And you know what? I'm just gonna hop over here. And I'm going to see if I can't capture this thing, because uh, that'll probably be a good idea. Canoe monitor, even... <laughs> yeah, one of is missing. Uh, how much progress have we made? Oh, and hello, Chris, uh, Chris Dragon Simba. I love people's usernames, I really do. Uh, key. We're, we're, we are... Well, okay, I can't show you the map, but yeah, we've accidentally declared war against the Onyx Watch. No biggie whatsoever. Oop. What's the worst that could happen here? I'm actually going to... Yep, okay. Okay, I'm going to preemptively go out here. Cram cat might have been a bad idea for this. Please just keep going forward. Yeah, Cram cat was actually definitely a bad idea for this. Yeah, Cramcat might not be the best thing for fighting the Onyx Watch. She's a little bit squishy. Okay, all I need to do is get on her. Okay, can a big wave please get me to where I need to go? You're hovering too high, you bastard. Why? Uh. Damn it. I need a grappling hook. Damn it. <gasps> Wait. Crap. Why are you so close? Yeah, this was a very stupid idea. Not sure what I was thinking. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Go for the AI, please. Why are you not firing? No! Why are you not even moving? Oh jeez, this was dumb. No, this was so dumb. Damn it, meme friggin' cram cat. Why did also this thing moves terribly? Come on. Yes. 
Go drive forward. It can't drive forward. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so note to self, don't use the cram cat for that because she gets beaten way the hell up. Oh, wow, she's actually tilting over. Oh, dear. Well, we learned. We live and we learn and we laugh and etc, etc, etc. Alright, you sit there and lick your wounds for a little bit. And you go there. And... I actually want to duplicate you. And I want to send you down here just in case. Just in case we get a rogue element. And there's gonna be oh there's gonna be a big fight over there. Oh there's gonna be a big fight. Squish the can. <laughs> yeah man, I gotta I gotta build more uh, I gotta build more friggin' just traditional canoes at this uh for this campaign because uh it's kinda what I'm good at. Because uh it, I've just done it so often. Okay. Now he's gonna go over there, gonna do that. Cause, oh yeah, Rook, Panic, Cauldron, Conestoga, Al- Oh no, the Alcazars are here! Ugh, I don't like that at all. I don't care for that notion one bit. Ugh, and the goose is gonna- Freaking. Yeah, this is what I mean, it's like the freaking. Okay, no, there's only one Alcazar. Thank goodness. Um... Yeah, so, uh, the, the Onyx Watch has a rotten habit of spamming Alcazars, and, um, Alcazars are... Alright, so I've said this many times before, Al the Alcazar is not the scariest thing in the game. It's not even the scariest Onyx Watchcraft, but it's just... It is in that sweet spot of expensive enough to be a problem, but cheap enough to make lots of. And, like, once the Onyx Watch starts building Alcazars, they just keep pumping them out. It's awful. Yeah, build a cranberry ship. Um, Loom? I've got two of them. Like, uh, the the uh, the flying Hydra is an airship, and um, and the Crambada Goose is an airship. And I really need to build just a straight up. I've actually figured out. I think the the formula that works for me for a cram bomber, which is basically a cram gunship, um, and I've got to build a proper one of those, proper doomy one as well. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, let us save the game. Let's save the game. I'm not looking forward to fighting that Alcazar. I'm really not. We're gonna have to gang up on it a lot. Oh no, it's going, it's going, it's going there. Moving to cluster to intercept. You're going north, aren't you? Okay, so I don't know, I don't remember what the panic is, but yeah, we need to take out that Alcazar like now. Like, right the hell now. <laughs> oh no you don't, you sack of crap. What is that? That's a panic. Okay, what is the panic? Alright, so we got flying hot Okay, so... We got a whole bunch of stuff. And the good news is that, uh... The good news is, is that, uh, the... The Hydra can almost solo an Alcazar, so... That's very handy. And... Yeah, okay. Almost solo an Alcazar, so this should be enough... To deal with it, and hopefully it aims for the Hydra as well. Okay, here we go. Yee. Yeah. Yee yeah, yee yeah, yee. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. We're all pointing in the right direction. Are we all spawned in? And yeah. Everybody go for the Alcazar. Oh my god! Why would you aim for the Conestoga first? That is... Th th the Front of the Depths AI... Is spectacularly stupid sometimes. It just is. 
Why are you falling out of the sky? Or looks like it. Oh, smoke guns actually doing their work. What the hell is happening here? Why do you have no engine power? What? I'm sorry, what? 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 No, what? 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 Oh, you ran out of friggin' battery juice. Oh well. Great thing about uh, the Hydra is that she doubles as a... She doubles as a boat in an emergency. Oh no, the friggin' Cram Cat. <laughs> Damn it. I really need to do over the Cram Cat or retire her because this is embarrassing. Okay, we're up out of the air again. Well done, well done, well done. Jolly good, jolly good. Nope, we're not out of the air again. Oh no, this is not going according to plan. Why did you run out of juice? What the hell? Like, no. Oh, you're gonna co you're gonna run over the Conestoga, aren't you? Oh no, stay away from land. Stay away from land. I swear. I swear to Jeebus. Okay, you do... You do a little dancey thing right here, please. Do not go anywhere near land. I will kill you. If you collide with the packing duck, I will kill you. Don't you dare. Whee! Okay, good. Alright, you got your juice back. You got your mojo back, girl. Okay, how's the Alcazar doing? It has lost 2% health. That is not good enough. Oh no, I need bigger stuff. See what I mean? Alcazar's a problem. Yay! At this rate, we're going to run over the Conestoga with a duck. Meh, meh. Do not collide with the land. I'm going full heavy metal. Do not collide with the land. Just do a dancey, 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 dancey over the hair. You were an airship. I shouldn't have to worry about you colliding with the land, but my... G what? Oh, guys... Guys, it's stuff like this that makes me just want to straight up quit from the depths. Like, there's no excuse for this. There's really, I know, the games have been in development since 2014, and they haven't yet figured out, like, basic AI to stop vehicles running into each other. That should, you should not have to set that up yourself. You absolutely should not have to set up yourself, because there's never a time... Never... Did you just... Did the Flying Hydra just EMP itself? Oh, no. Jeez. Uh, There's never a time where you'd want your craft to collide with each other. There's never a time you'd want that. There's no point letting, like... Ugh. I'm ranting now. I hate the Alcazar. The Alcazar always brings out the worst in me. Uh, you're gonna collide with the land, aren't you? I hate the lambs on the Alcazar. I hate it. I hate... I hate... I HATE! <laughs> oh, boy. Nightworld, I do not hate the devs. Do not... Please, I'm serious. Do not go around saying that. It is not true. It's just that... Uh, that, should, that should have been fixed so long ago, and it hasn't been... Oh, hey, the Cram Cat's being very helpful. Oh, boy, this fight's not... It's not going super well. Actually, wait. We can cheat. 
Oh, I've got to get a better way out of here. Where's the freak? Where am I? Help! There you are. <laughs> Everybody gets yeah, salty about the devs, yes, but hate the devs? No, 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 no. Never hate on the devs. Okay. Oh my god, and the Alcazar moves just slightly too fast. Oh my god. What is the point of making you bounce like you're at the club if you're gonna get hit anyway? Seriously. What is the point? Oh, I hate that lambs. That friggin' lambs. I've tested against the Alcazar so much using this exact airship, but nope, 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 nope. It's like, nope. Sorry. We're gonna have bad weather so that, you know, your cram shells are gonna be messed up. Also, RNG. I, alright, there's one dev which has gotten a lot of hate and possibly, no, he doesn't deserve it, but he does deserve criticism, and that's Draba. <laughs> because Draba likes RNG, so, thanks to Draba, he's not even a dev anymore, but like, there's a lot, there's, uh, there's RNG in the game that shouldn't be there, <laughs> because Draba th thinks that RNG is not a dirty word. It's a filthy word! It's the filthiest of words! <laughs> In a game like this, where you've got to plan things and engineer things, you want there to be random number generation to make stuff happen. Oh, thank goodness we're winning. Why do I always do this? We're still winning! And yet, I find reasons to be salty snacky. Oh boy. Yes, die, you insufferably annoying thing. It's always the Alcazar. It's always the Alcazar which makes the salt come out. Okay, it's alright, Nightworld. It's a communication issue. 90% of conflict, that wasn't even conflict, is communication. It's okay. No one panic. That's my job. <laughs> I need to make a t shirt with that. No one panic. That's my job. Oh, I need much doomier crams. I need much doomier crams. I could have made multiple doom crams with all the repairs I need to. Did you just run over something? If you collide now, what did you just do? What did you just do? What did you just do? It sucks that you can test things so much in the designer, and yet, and yet, when you hop into the campaign, there's always something you have not thought of. This is why it's just, you know, it, if I was being smart, I just would have made like a space bomber. I just would have made a cram thing that flies at like 1,500 meters and shoots things from above. That would have done it, and that would be an anti-submarine thing as well, because you're shooting straight down. So basically a cram bomber, except not really. Ugh. Jeez. Wait, is it? I'm so stupid. Uh, yes. What the? Okay, not you. Okay, the- Alright, no, I'm not a complete idiot. I never put a teleport on the cram cad. Alright, so you- You are gonna run over land again. Okay, you know what? You go for this. Because you're not being very helpful. And that we need to kill that thing eventually anyway. Okay. We're winning. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hmm. RNG's only in the aiming. <laughs> Good point, Nightworld. If I was actually wise, as in border wise, I wouldn't be playing a cram only campaign. I'd be doing something fun. This is actually kind of fun. When it's working, it's fun. But then it's like, on. To be fair, the things that I'm getting salty about in this campaign is the stuff that I've generally is salty about the campaign anyway. Like the fact that. You know, RNG, just where the aiming is, and, um, alright, so to clear up the other RNG stuff, shields, shield projectors, major RNG, and uh, missile decoys, so flares, 
there's major RNG there, because sometimes they work, sometimes they- YES! Despawn, you big hollow lump of annoying lambs! Despawn! I would flip the bird at you, in fact, yes, double bird for you, Alcazar. Get out of here. No one likes you. Especially not me, if that wasn't really obvious already. <sighs> okay. Always the Alcazar, I swear. Alright, so what is that? I forget, what is the panic? Panic at the disco? Uh, can we take that on with the airship? I don't even remember. Okay, Flying Hydra, go intercept that thing, please. Okay. Saltiness! Alright, we've had our recommended daily dose of salt. We can stop now. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess that's actually the main reason that, that the Alcazar annoys me is because I like using cram cannons and the Alcazar's lambs is the wall you run into in the campaign where you're like, oopsie daisy, I can't spam crams anymore. I can't spam light crams at the very least. Okay. If the panic is a submarine, I'm gonna really cry. Alright. Let's go here. Whee! I, th I don't remember what the panic is. Oh no. What that? Engaging now. Okay, ignore the drones. Oh, my favorite. Please shoot it. Why are you not sh Uh hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing, man? Hello. Thank you. Jeez. You had one job, it's to shoot things dead. Okay, this thing does look awesome though. Can we just appreciate this thing looks awesome? It's got a lamb system. I hate it. I take it back, it sucks. You suck, Bannock. It's also got piddly particle cannons that seem to miss a lot. Stop. Missing so much, okay. It also appears to, it wants to do handstands. Yay! Okay, we're winning. Stop panicking. It's a, it is a lobster! It's a lobster! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to kill this thing a lot faster than what you're doing. Okay, we're winning. I do not like how I get salty. I wish I was not salty. I wish I was sweet. Yeah. Oh, you almost certainly can make the Leviathan from the animated Atlantis movie. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, if I did nothing but From the Depths campaign content, I would be a happy man. I would probably be a lot happier than I am. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Who knows? Oh, uh, boy. It is interesting if you, uh, if you play a campaign with a self-imposed challenge like this, and then you go back to using all the stuff that you're not allowed to use. It's like, wow. Lasers are such a time saver. They really are. How expensive is this? It's actually, this is, uh, material-wise, this fight is kind of even. Super cool if you could stay still and let me shoot you. Super cool if you do. I can't tell if this is deliberate evasive movement or whether the, you know, whether it's just damaged. What is your damage? Tell me. 
Tell me what your damage is. Okay, that was good damage. More of that, please. Oh, yeah, and the particle cannon's got disabled at some point. Yay! Weapons down. Let's see. Uh, are you scratched at all? Nah. A few scrapes, that's all. Man, and missile interceptor. This would be so much harder if I wasn't allowed to use things like missile interceptors. Woo! Oh, Scarlet Dawn with cramps. Good question. I don't know yet. Basically, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to bomb them from space with lots of doom cram. Yes, I'm gonna need to fly two thousand meters above the singularity with something with very good laser defense and just shoot it in the head a lot. It's other. Th it's actually things like the Event Horizon and the um, what's the other one? I forget what it is, but like there's stuff that. Uh, there's stuff in the Scarlet Dawn that is, like, very fast and very evasive, and that is what I'm worried about. The Singularity, as it is now, not quite so worried. Um, but yeah, like, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to set that bridge on fire once we're on it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're having fun! Oh, yeah, really, like, the Scarlet Dawn... Not everything they send is cram-proof, but uh, there are a few vehicles which are, like, really friggin' scary. I should just build a space bomber, like, ahead of time. Because, ye gods, I'm gonna need it. Sorry, I just was enjoying the sight for a second. Yeah, this the, the Hydra needs a bigger, meaner version too. We need proper doomy crams on this thing. It's currently, what is this made of? Okay, no, it's just stacked metal. It is just stacked metal, but a lot of it. Okay, you know what? You don't actually need to move that much. Also, where do the drones for this thing go? It's just firing missiles at us for new. Uh oh. Never mind, there's the drones. There is the drones. Are these things suicide drones? Engaging now. Oh. That one that <laughs> that one was a suicide drone. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> just the way it kind of went just like bonk and died and did nothing. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, yeah, that animated Atlantis movie, um... I haven't seen that one. There's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't seen. Pretty, pretty friggin' obvious, actually. I have not seen many things. Most things in the world, really. We're running low on materials, and I'm not okay with it. Yeah, I really need to get more ducker. Yeah, in the campaign, you really can't think in terms of like, alright, we want an even fight. Nope, you want to really outmatch everything at every turn. Because if you don't, that's, uh, it's very time-consuming. Stop doing the bouncy-bouncy. Why do you keep turning away from it? I don't want you to do that. You 
You're doing it again! What are you- why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Uh, no! What? No! Okay, cool. We won! From the Depths is full of mysteries, and many of them are annoying. Alrighty, you need to go... You need to go resupply. Which means going over there, and then coming back over here. And cram cat. Damaged cram cat. Alrighty, so now we can do... Uh, hello? Let us gift you... 10,000 materials. And let us go here, 70,000, and okay. I'm just gonna straight up send you lot over here. And straight up. Oh, there's a flying hy Oh, there's a spare flying hydra! Yay! Unless that's the one I just sent over there, in which case that's weird. Send you over there. And duplicate. Shall you good? That's building the crown of the goose. Oh, hello. I'm gonna need you to do a lot of blimps, my man. Behold the bad year blimp. <laughs> okay. We've got a quiet moment. Nobody panic. Nobody panic at the disco. What time is it? It's. Oh, we've been going an hour. Oh, who would have thunk? Have you considered cargo lines? Those are a pain in the ass to maintain. I prefer just moving resources manually wherever I need them. I do need faster resource craft, actually, though. Now that you mention it. Alright, let us speed up to. What is that? Claim more. Rook. Okay, you actually need to resupply as well. You lot. Hmm. I think the Twin Guard might be really busy fighting somebody. I think. What's all this? This is. Who took this over? The Lightning Hoods. Yeah, I think they're busy with the Lightning Hoods. Where are they heading? Fulgurite, a current, rubber materials. Yeah, there's a. What, whatever is happening over here, this is a hell of a fight, probably. Okay. Right, you go there, capture that. And uh, what else is happening? What else has happened? Duplicate and duplicate one more time, so we have eight of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so play more rook, cauldron, I will be pee 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 Bit of a pain in the tushy for me. But thankfully, the ducks are in place. Try saying that as a dramatic line. The ducks are in place. Discussions tab about... Uh, wait, what? Discussions tab about cargo lines? What? Uh, Actually stays in the air... I have done that! It's uh, not a very good idea to do that with a fighting craft, because one hole in, through the thing and it falls out of the sky. Uh, comments the latest video? Random errors and deleting cells. Uh, 3D Wrecker, have you been uh, putting links uh, in your comments? Because, um... 
Uh, yeah, my spam filter is set to be very strict, so, like, if you post a link, uh, odds are good I'm not gonna see it. Uh, I did check, though, like, I'm not sure the problem is on my end, or even YouTube's end, I don't know. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. Okay, we've done that, and what are we doing over there? Why the hell are you lot repairing so slowly? Probably because we don't really have much in the way of materials over there, do we? Okay. Speed up time a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, wee wee wee. wee, wee, wee. So we've got a rook coming over there. It's about to pick a fight with a pair of hydras, which is not going to go very well for it. Alright, so we've got our El Grande fleet over there, Lance Conestoga, you go there, you lot go back for supplies, and go back there, you hang out over here for a second, and you do 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 do, what? Mm-hmm. Not you, you dope. Okay. Okay. Let us... Why the hell are you repairing so slowly? That's so weird. Why? That's uh, because it's... That doesn't make sense. Uh, whatever. Shwatevs! Okay. Uh, let's go here and go... Da -da 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 -da. Cargo lanes. No monies, but no, they've got monies. They've got monies. There's very much monies. Alright, let us separate you idiots out a lot so you don't hug. Yin. Oh, it's this fella. He's not so bad. Alright, so this is hopefully an example of how overwhelming firepower really saves time. Although the rook is really cool, I do like this this idea of just a spin block brands. Doesn't work incredibly well in practice, but um, yeah. It's still really cool. Also interesting is going for one thing, but, uh, okay, this is, okay, we're getting into a little bit of a dance-off here. It is also frustrating how the AI just does, is not smart at aiming at all. It tries, it only ever leads the target in straight lines. To be fair, if we were looking here, like, it would be damn hard to hit this thing with what is essentially giant naval guns. We I should hang out, like, on my craft more often. Yay!
Yeah, it's interesting, it's just like double cram speed, missile interceptors do nothing against them. And they're usually great. Ah! Oh god. Oh! No! <laughs> no! I didn't want to go there! I didn't want to do that. This is not the life I wanted. Whoa, that is block confetti. Okay, you two can stop moving now because this thing's no longer shooting at us. Okay, I spoke too soon. Whee! It is super cool to see a cram volley like that. Makes me happy. Hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What are we doing? We're doing this. Alright, you go back. Oh, I thought I captured that square already. I was wrong. Alright, so the... Uh -oh, um, what's the readout again? The readout's another airship. Yeah, they're spamming airships at me. Alrighty, we're going to... We're going to do a flank, I think. Because, like, new, new plan is outnumber everything all the time. It's just a good idea. Uh, what the... Oh, interesting. Alright, no. Uh, what's happening over here? I do like how this carries on. You have money. You totally have money. You have all the money. Why are you not repairing faster? Oh, uh, it's because... Is it just because there's one of them doing it and that's not okay? Okay, whatever. Shh, whatever. Ugh. Why... Why did you stop there? Why did you stop there? There are so many mysteries in From the Depths. There are so many mysteries. All right. Alrighty. Moving out. Let's go here. Save game. Right. Let's get nice and close. Redoubt would absolutely destroy me. Listening. Hold on. Do you want to see? Are you harvesting yet? Listening. You are. Good lads. I need to build a... I need to build a space flying craft thing. Listening. Listening. Oh, there we go. Does that have enough repair to... It only has one, so... Okay, see you, driver. Bye. Okay, now what do we want in life? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do Listening. an epic flank. Listening. Listening. An epic flank that is epic. Because I'm epic. <laughs> it's like L'Oreal, instead of... Because I'm worth it, it's because I'm epic. Okay, everybody joining the party? Yes. Right. Whoa! Okay. Guys, gonna need you to aim better. That's good. Shoot them in the face. Shoot them in the face. This is actually kind of a problem. This is an interesting problem with using cram cannons on fast vehicles. Uh, especially fast orbiters, is that, um... Like, crams are slow... But the vehicle's fast, which- Oh my god, if you two collide, I'm going to absolutely cack my pants. There you go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I should not have to micromanage that. Really should not. But alas! Uh, making games is hard, particularly if the team is really small. Also, can we just... Appreciate for the moment. I know I was salty earlier. Can we appreciate that this game has been in development a long time, sure, but it's like Nick Smart's... I think it's his first game. Or at the very least, the first one he, you know, has made 
publicly available and like for sale that's impressive someone who's just making a game for the first time and it's something like this that's nutty that's hazelnut flavored yeah I mean, the scariest thing in, in the Onyx Watch has always kind of been... Actually, no. It, it depends on what you're using, but uh, the Eerie was always one of the scariest things they had. And now that it is godly, it is fitting. It is fitting that it is a godly craft, because it kind of always was at heart. Whee! I need to do a lend lease campaign at some point, so I can rage at designs which aren't mine. Okay. Party mix, party mix, party mix cram. Party mix cram is delicious and fun. Uh, see, if you just aim slightly for, you know, the, the what is the right side of this thing when aiming for it, you'd hit it. But no, 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 you want to be cool. You want to aim for very specific blocks, like on the front and back. Uh, need Doomfrag. I think, like, less than a quarter of these shots are hitting. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, they did make changes to it. It got kind of crippled, and then they added back in a little bit of the bounciness. And they, uh, what else did they do? They... What else did they do? I think they, they moved the lambs uh, from the front of the... From the front of... Ugh. From the front of the craft to the back. What? Why are you always catching up? What? Stop it. Stop trying to go up your friend's butt. It's non-consensual and that's not cool. Not cool. PSA for the day. Do not drive up your friend's butt. Without asking them first. Can't believe I went there. <laughs> Uh, dear. Yeah, Onyx Watch uh, airships are, are pretty cool. They do look cool. Where were you aiming, mate? Where, why, how? You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Cause that little APS isn't gonna, can't hurt us really. And does this thing have? Nope, it doesn't. Oh, look at that! It's almost like when the thing stops moving in a constant curve, it's easier to hit. Who would have thunk? <laughs> Please don't put that in the compilation. Oh, dear. Yay! Dead. Yeah, I would need way more firepower on these things. Also interesting the difference between firepower and effective firepower. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. Because effective firepower is firepower that actually hits the thing. Listening. And uh, as opposed to firepower which is just the numbers. Oh lordy, I think the coffee's wearing off. Another half hour, then we can nap. Receiving. What the hell? Moving out. Moving out. Get back over there, please. Yonder is a stockade, okay. Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good in this neighborhood. Listening. 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 
so much faster if I... Deacon's hell. Just moving out. You take a merry trip on your rocket ship over there. And then moving come out. back over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, I'm subbed? Oh yeah, the people were gifting subs out left and right. Yay! Thank you, 3D Wrecker. Yay. Okay. Why is there a random thing over there? Okay, okay can someone explain to me why this guy is not replenishing energy, even though he really should be? So weird. So weird. This weird. Th this game's weird. You probably noticed. It's weird. Uh, there's the Onyx Throne. I probably need bigger guns. Uh, we're settling in for a, a bit of a stalemate here, I guess. Oh my god, alright. Let's just keep doing this. You know what? This is faster. This is actually faster. Do 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 do. Lift me. Lift me. What is that? That's a cauldron. All right. Lift me. Moving out. How big is a cauldron? I think the I think uh, the uh, flying hydra can solo a cauldron. I think it can do it. Yay! Run away! Run away, you chicken! Chicken! Okay, let's save the game. Save the game. We're in it for the long haul. Honestly, I'm just stalling until we can get the goose uh, and the titan built. How is that going, by the way? Ooh, quarter of the way done. Neat! You guys are so slow. You guys are also slow. And I'm not okay with that. That hurts me and my feelings. All right, time to bully a cauldron. Hope everybody is ready and ready for that. You know what we could do? We could mess with their supply lines a little bit. Moving out. Let us. Yeah, the, the hydras are currently. By far the best thing I have to deal with the Onyx Watch right now. <laughs> David Adam narrated the PW documentary when I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be good though. And here we see the canoe enthusiast in his natural environment, making canoes and then getting salty when they capsize. <laughs> what noise was I making earlier? Rowing through the dangerous waters of planet Nita, just... Oh dear. 
Okay, you go there, I go here. We go here, there, and everywhere. Don't you run away! No, don't you dare do that. Stop it! I want to shoot you in the face! Oh, that's why it's friggin' turning, is because of the roll control. Please let it be AI dead immediately. Nope, it's got surge protectors. Conestoga is actually weirdly tanky for something that's a supply vehicle. Shoot. Shoot her! Do it. Okay, cool. That's a uh, turret dune. Why are you trying to move closer? You dare approach me? See, I know how to Jojo mean. I'm cool. I'm hip with the kids, as they say. Wow, that thing's fast. You don't realize just how fast these things are until... You tell him you see him in comparison to something else. And now you're never gonna hit the thing because you went too far. Nope. Do not run into the land. I will be very upset if you do that. Okay. Distance is an illusion. Please get a little bit closer. Okay, far away. One of these days we'll kill Conestogas quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the puns have started. Oh, yeah, like... Yeah, like, I keep forgetting that this mod's even installed. Simply because it fits the game so well. Like, I've almost forgotten what crams originally sounded like. They just sound like someone clapping in comparison. Alrighty, let us flatten that cauldron quickly. Let's flatten the cauldron. Do not recommend doing that with your bare hands. Where am I? There I am. Go forth and do it. Haha, <laughs> you missed. The cauldron is kind of cute. Whoa. <laughs> Subscriber build CC craft video that would. I have no idea. I'm gonna need to actually start building stuff for my little CC. <laughs> Alrighty, are you even shooting at us worth a damn anymore? Not really, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit still and shoot you in the head for a little bit. I really cannot wait to, like, load in the Kramada Goose. And the Titan Cram. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good! Good! 
It is actually interesting that um, the new stability mechanic makes it so there's advantages to like turning your craft off, uh, aside from saving materials. Um, I mean, turning their movement off, I should say. Just because it means that, like, okay, they're no longer shooting at us, evasive maneuvers are not needed. Turn off the engines and just get your iron. Mm, custom can be. Yeah. yeah, normal craft review, nope, that's never coming back. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. I still remember that list of almost a hundred vehicles to get through and how it felt so much like an obligation, it was just, you know, I couldn't rush it, but also, it was not, it was not, it was not a good time. Yay, we win! Winning is fun! I should try to do that more often. I'm actually winning quite a lot here. Alright, what have we got? Claymore, Claymore, Lance, Tradley, Conestogo, Hoffman, Avalanche, Asper, Proctor. Woo, Proctor! Uh, the Flying Hydra, you just sit there for a second. And what do we got here? I don't actually... Well, the Twin God's gonna come at us anyway, so whatever. So what ifs? Do I have... I don't have a Water Hydra here, do I? No, I do not. Okay, you're... Why are you taking so long to build? What is with the... I need to put extra repair tentacles on these things. I really do. I really do. Deacons, hell, you take a long time. Ah, uh, jeez. That's what I get for being cheap with repair tentacles. Receiving. Moving now. Receiving. Moving. Listening. Moving out. Throw a brick made of pans in its body to do some damage. Does it break? What? Uh, yep, that probably breaks, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think also that won't work very well, more importantly. It's just, like, you know, a suicide craft made entirely out of cram components. Although, if you use heavy barrel parts, hey, maybe it could work. Okay. What is a claymore again? A claymore is... An insignificant cheap thing. So is the Lance, so is the Conestoga. Uh, okay. Just focusing on killing these guys. UI, go clicky click. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I select you? It's not what I wanted at all. Moving out, lift me. Moving out, lift me. Moving out. Lift me. Alrighty, that should do the trick. Now I have a whole smeg ton of these guys over here just being built for lift no me. reason. And merge you. And that's okay, and that's all good, and yay, and yay! And you are filled with materials, pretty much. Just trickling up there. Cram and a goose is close to being built, so I'm just gonna send you Moving on out. a little supply trip. Going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Whee! Ironically enough, inert. E Oh uh, yeah, long time ago, explosive cram pellets um, were explosive. Uh, nowadays, not so much. Thank goodness, because uh, that was a problem. They also were vulnerable to EMP, which means that as non-meta as crams are, for the most part, uh, they used to be worse. <laughs> they used to be a lot worse. So yeah, I don't think that like a cram only playthrough of Nita would really have not have been possible. Um, like, years ago, when cramps were in an even worse place balance-wise than they are now. Yeah, the, like, 200 meter per second max muzzle velocity, no. No, 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 no. You would have had a very, very bad time have you had you tried to 
uh, do nature with crayons only. You would have had a shockingly miserable time. Oh, we pretty much don't need to move at all. Looks like the Onyx Watch is running out of money. Running out of money. Uh oh. Ow! It got hit! You cheeky bugger! Yeah, cheeky sod. How'd you do that? Where did you get hit? Oh, you got you got oh you got hit in the nose. That is the problem with putting rubber on stuff, is that it gets blown off so easily, you see the health percentage drop and you just panic. You just panic at the disco. Alright, I'm gonna disable that for now. Just aim your shots. Oh no, okay. Actually we can evade just by bouncing up and down, so it's all good. Tool tips don't reflect it. Do packs still lose accuracy when firing further away from the center of their... I don't know. I think so? I don't know. Huh. That's something to investigate, I think. Okay, 3D Eureka says yes, so okay, sure. We'll go with that. We will go with that thing. I really need to friggin' make... I'm using cram cans. And yet it takes forever to destroy anything. Why do I always do this? I always go into the campaign with underpowered stuff. I guess that's also kind of a problem is that these uh, cram cannons are set up to be general purpose rather than specialized uh, ship crackers, so to speak. I do like how this thing looks though. It does look cool. The new propellers, I say new, uh, they're so good. They're so nice. They're so cool. They're so nice. They're so cool. Uh, let's do that again. Okay, there's a Harlock. How big is a Harlock? Yeah, Harlock's kind of big. Oh, hello. Oh, you poor bastards. What is this? Stockade. Proctor. Warrior. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Hmm. I reckon we can take all of you on. Are uh, we full on materials? Pretty much so. Let's do it. Let us do that thing. Whee! Hopefully this doesn't take a million and one years. <laughs> Cram is OP when it's expensive to make? What? Huh? Yeah, they're, they're already a little bit differentiated. Um, some of the turrets on the Hydra have EMP, others don't. Cram is OP when it's expensive to make. Do you mean, do you just mean that it's expensive when it's big? I mean, it's OP when it's big? Because that goes for most things, actually. Oh, deacon's hell, I might have overestimated this. Ugh. Well, that armor did its job. Ouch. How dare you. Now we see how good evasion is. Whee! Okay, gonna need you to do better than what you're currently doing, right? Oh, the poor Proctor. I remember when this thing was a godly. Who thought of that, really? Small things generally don't do well in the... as godlies. This doesn't... Yep, the, it's just instant dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, hey. We took your masks off. We... Splat. I do like the stockhead, though. It's like, it's... One of the most Onyx Watchy of the Onyx Watch craft, if that makes sense. Alright. 
Simple bread script. Well, now I don't know who to side with. I feel most people don't know how to bread. Uh, yeah, but cram, cram is definitely not OP. Because here's the thing. You can make a 1 million material cram turret. And it'll be very strong. But a 1 million material APS turret would be... Probably, like, better in every single way that matters. Because it could shoot at anything. You make a super cavitation railgun that's a million materials. Like, and put AA mantlets on it. You've got something that can handle pretty much anything in the game. Uh, One million bucks of cram enables you to shoot things which are not cram poof really well. And that's it. Hey, you're welcome, Legal Eagle. That, that bouncy... Bouncy airship. By the way, uh, this um, this craft right here does not use uh, much in the way of breadboard. It's still using where is it? It's still using uh, ACBs to control the bounce. I could very easily. Where's the breadboard? It is using a breadboard somewhere. Where the hell is it? Actually, no. It's not using any bread whatsoever. I should change it to be bread. I should change that to be bread. It would be very good. It'll be a good idea. Wee splat. Oh, you missed. Why'd you miss? Stop missing. <laughs> splat and splat. Wee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like... I understand that once you start using breadboard for AI stuff, it's just so much easier just not using the standard behaviors. I should absolutely start doing that, actually. I'll figure it out eventually. No worries. And when I do, I'll share the story. Actually, wait. I've just thought of a way to get things to broadside the way I want them to. Should be really good actually. And we appear to be winning a lot. Ye splat. Actually, bearing in mind just how cheap individually these little cram turrets are and the overall cost of the Hydra, she is actually doing really well. So, I should be less harsh on my craft sometimes. Huh. Why not make a super fast uh, craft instead of making it super bouncy? It's better to do both. Uh, because um, you want to essentially... Um, well, the reason you want to bounce is because it means you're changing heights and it's throwing off, like, uh, the leading of it. Uh, basically, if something is moving very fast in a straight line, it can still, the AI can uh, predict its path pretty easily because that's all the From the Depths AI is good at, is predicting things in straight lines. When it bounces like this, it's moving in a constant curve. And uh, with slower projectiles, even if it's standing still, um, that back and forth uh, causes AI to overcompensate, and so it'll just continually miss. I don't feel I explained that very well, but uh, it is immediately apparent is that you dodge a lot more shots uh, when you move up and down, as well as forward and from side to side. It's better to do all three, really. It's why the old Eerie was actually uh, such a pain in the ass, is because it constantly moved up and down. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's basically what uh, what the Hydra is. The The thing moves at 100 meters per second and has a real super bounce, which means that shots just whiff. Bearing in mind uh, that these cram cannons we're playing with right now, um, their speed is set... Whoops. Uh, their speed is set to times two, so they're moving at 600 meters per second. Or, in this case, um, 480, because they've got a, a flash suppressor on them. Um, if on regular cram speed, this thing would pretty much never get hit by cram cannons unless 
the entire sky is filled with them, as what the Turtle Lord tends to do. I should shoot at the Turtle Lord more, it's great fun. Mm. Uh, the stockade has actually taken a lot of uh, time to shoot dead. We're burning through. I need to put more material. One of the problems with having something compact like this is that uh, you don't have a hell of a lot in the way of material storage. Because you just don't have room for it. You don't have room, room, room. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, apparently I've gotten second wind out of that giant mug of coffee. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It's like, honestly, if you if there was one weapon system, only one that you could, um, that you had to solo the game with, I would say use advanced cannons. Uh, I did make a tier list video a long time ago about, like, uh, which I recommend watching, actually, because I think it still holds up reasonably well, except that I forgot that drills existed. Um, because that's how bad they are. They're, like, b way below F tier. Even now that they've been changed. Um, but yeah, as much as I love cram cannons, they are at the bottom of the tier list, simply because they're not versatile. If you... I basically was approaching it in the thought of like, okay, so if you're only allowed to go through the Nita campaign, uh, or if you're only allowed to use one weapon system in a tournament, uh, what would work best and what wouldn't, and the, like, crams just would not work really well. They just have so many ways to counter them. And uh, they're just way too specialized. Everything else uh, has versatility to it. So you go through the list. Like, even simple weapons. Um, they have... The, they're very compact. They're very simple. Um, you can spam them like crazy. And uh, the custom shells ones... Like, you can have whatever kind of nasty APS shell that you could use effectively. Like, you put... Like, Super Cavitation... Uh, AP Heat can be used with simple weapons, and that already is like, whee, you campaigns won, pretty much. Um, and then, yeah, lasers, they're just really good at, like, killing fast things, and you can even destroy submarines with them if you get right above them. And, yeah, it's just missiles are just really versatile and just really powerful, and, you know, particle cannons have no hard counters at all in their hit scan, so just everything else has versatility to it, and crams just don't. So that's unfortunate. Unfortunately. And on that merry note, I think we're done. I think, yeah, like, what else is going to happen here? Not much. Yeah, nah. Not much. We're doing the slow burn, and I really need to friggin' build that friggin' goose. I need to build the goose. I need to build the goose. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Legal Eagle just listed them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, well, there's there's your list right there. Armor, evasion, speed, sea whiz, missile interceptor, shields, range, water. <laughs> when water is a main counter for you, you know you got problems. Okay. <laughs> Crossbones to space. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And APS has all kinds of fun tricks in it. Anyway. That'll do for this stream. We did well, apart from the one salty episode with Alcazar, which wasn't even that salty. Uh, devs, if you're watching this, I still love you, and I know your job's hard. So please don't feel any more pressure than you already feel. Uh, you've got a long list of things to do with From the Depths even now, so don't let me bug you. So thank you all so much for watching and joining me on this stream. Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, chat continues to be funny. And usual story, like and follow uh, on YouTube and Twitch. And usual end of stream shout out. I've written a book. It is called Two of Rogues. It is a not incredibly epic fantasy novel, which is why it's fun. And you should go check that out if you haven't already. A link will be in the description uh, on YouTube at the very least. And if you Google Two of Rogues, uh, it, it comes up immediately, which is super cool. Thank you, uh, Amazon. Um, SEO optimization. Alright, that's it. And see you, and thank you, and bye-bye. Farewell.